All right, welcome to our uh, guided lab B. We're dealing with plate boundaries. Uh, going to be playing with Google Earth a little bit again today. So as you open up this lab, you'll see a PDF, and I've got instructions for everything I'm about to show you. But this part's really important, so you can do the lab. I thought I'd go ahead and make a video um, just to help as well, so you have access to this video here. So you can see this video if you click the video instructions link. So first thing for this lab, we need to download a KMZ file. So I've attached that to Connexus. So just click here and click on it'll download. It'll be a very similar process if you're on a Mac uh, or if you're on a Chromebook, okay? The only difference on a Chromebook, it'll automatically download into your Google Drive. Now let's go open Google Earth. I've got a link right here so we can just type on that or click it. I'm gonna go ahead and open it in a new tab so it doesn't wipe out my Connexus, but or you could go Google, you know, Google Earth as well. There's different ways to get there. Okay, here's our Google Earth, just like we saw last time. So, a couple things we're gonna do. Click on the menu, and we're gonna go down to our settings, and scroll all the way down, and there's this enable KML file. And so we're just gonna toggle that on and click save. Now we're going to go bring in that file that we downloaded to our computer. And so we're going to click right here. It looks kind of like a bookmark, My Places. And we're going to click Import KML File. And now let's do Open File. Now if you're on a uh, Chromebook, you're going to do Open from Google Drive. Otherwise, you're probably just going to do Open File. <clears throat> and now you just need to go find wherever that file downloaded. Okay. Uh, on my computer it went to downloads but wherever you put it go find that file just click on it and open it and then you should see something like this okay comes up there's some boundaries on the earth now and we want to just go ahead and click save and then we can just kind of put that back and now you'll see these boundaries they show up as you zoom in so like right here there's the African plate okay now you get all these other labels start showing up. Maybe, maybe those are kind of hard to see. And so if you want, here's another little thing you could do. If you click uh, My Places, I'm sorry, not My Places. If we click up here in Menu and click Map Style, it's got all these labels on. Maybe just for this one, click Clean and that'll take all those other labels away. Okay, you can always turn things back on and, and play with things. But now we've got uh, these boundaries on here that you can see the Earth's divided up into these different things, okay? One other thing while you're here maybe watching, let me just show you. If I zoom in, okay, I wanna remind you of something. So I zoom way in here, I'm on the ocean down here Here's a number and it's negatives. That's below sea level. Okay, like if I click over here along this ridge, you can find some uh, some places that are up to like 20,000 feet deep. Uh, you go find the Marinera Trench and some places that are that are really quite deep. But anyway, that's how you can look at altitude. Now you've got to be zoomed in quite a bit to be able to do that. See, right now we're 1,500 miles above the Earth. But, uh, but again, just zoom in there, and then it'll start showing up for you. Okay? So kind of something that'll pop up as you go and um, work on the lab today a little bit.